part of me was gone. And, you know, after 35 years, looking at something like that is quite dramatic. When Eli Saccarellis watched his restaurant, the State Street Saloon, crumble to the ground on April 10th, 2017, he knew immediately he would rebuild. We owned a bar in downtown for a long time, and we didn't realize what effect we had on a lot of the working people in this community. And that in itself was a driving force to do something. And now I'm getting emotional. It was still smoldering. The smoke was still smoldering, and he went and literally went looking for another spot that day. When the VFW on Deer Street in downtown Portsmouth was up for sale, Eli and his son Michael knew this would be the saloon's new home with a new name, the Stady Bar and Grill. A lot of the 20 year, five year olds, the 35 year olds called it the Stady. They never called it the saloon. Eli closed the deal in February with a goal of opening in April, close to the anniversary of the fire. They did it in 10 weeks, every contractor making themselves available. When Eli asks them to do something, they do it. You know what I mean? And he just gets things done so amazing. I mean, this place would have taken somebody else two years to get done. The space is more open than State Street Saloon. There is a removable wall that separates the dining area from the bar. Just the size of this place alone is intimidating to me, to Eli. You know, we're not used to the, I mean, we're used to high volume, but we're talking bigger numbers now, bigger, more people, you know what I mean? Memories of the saloon adorn the wall. These two exterior signs, more than 35 years old, survived the flames. Eli pulled a few other items from the debris. I found a bar stool, <laughs> some pictures, has the same classic favorites with a few new additions. Lobster rolls, seafood chowder, steak, steak tips. I mean, uh, we've been dabbling in doing stir fries with ahi tuna. The help, you know, all the people that were working at the saloon, all the bartenders, most of the cooks are all back here. These lifelong friends grew up with Eli in Massachusetts, and they drove up to check out the new Stady Bar and Grill. Today, I had a uh, fried haddock. And it was delicious. It was huge. It was, and it was very good. Oh, it's awesome. It's really nice. Yeah, it is. Typical it's sports yeah. bar. It's but nice. It's so clean, comfortable. This is what I do, and I'm happy to do it. And I'm happy to be part of this community. And this community needs, the working people in this community need a place to go. A great outpouring of, of, you know, support from all of my old customers and uh, new customers as well. But they feel like they've come home again. And that's the feeling we all have. In Moulton Borough, the Woodshed Restaurant was a summer staple in the Lakes region for decades. But Thanksgiving 2013, fire tore through the barn restaurant, leaving nothing but debris and a lifetime of memories for so many people. It was part of our history of the area for everyone to be here. At some point during the summer, it was a must-go-to place in the summer. Greg Branzetti is the managing partner of the new Woodshed. He also worked at the former Woodshed back in the 1980s. I came to the parking lot and overwhelming feeling of sadness. The owners of the old Woodshed didn't want to rebuild, so they put the land up for sale. That is when Arnold Haynes got involved. A Massachusetts resident, Arnold spent summers in the Lakes region. His daughter, Melinda Bradley, says her family loved the Woodshed. It, it was just shocking because we had been coming here for, you know, over 30 years. Arnold wanted to see the woodshed rebuilt. So when his daughter, Melinda, and son-in-law, Stephen Bradley, suggested Arnold buy the land, he didn't hesitate. In, in, in the scheme of things, it didn't seem like that much money. And so he, we talked them into buying the property just to preserve 
the fact that maybe somebody would come along and want to build the restaurant. After Arnold bought the land, he then realized for someone to build a restaurant, the land needed a barn. They found an old post and beam barn built in the 1800s nearby, dismantled it, and had it rebuilt on the property. That is when Steve and Melinda realized they were about to become the owners of the new woodshed. As the barn sort of became real again, you know, and the barn board started going on, we started falling in love with it. You know, and we realized that if we're really trying to rebuild something that was like the woodshed, we had to control it. We have flower pot bread, which people love the idea of the bread made in the flower pot. And our prime rib is the same purveyor that Lynn Seeley used back a long, long time ago. So we've found that person, found that meat, and we slow roast it for six hours. The menu changes seasonally. Usually we have a salad special. We always have the soup of the day, and usually two entree specials at least. The Woodshed's signature cocktails remain popular in the newly expanded pub. The decor is rustic and homey. The walls adorned with vintage items from the Haynes' family home. There, the, the um, irons up there came from my mother's home. Local folks also wanted to be part of the new Woodshed, donating items from their own attics and garages. I, I would say that ha more than half of the items in the barn uh, are gifts from people. The new woodshed, a labor of love, creating new memories in the heart of the Lakes region, welcoming its loyal patrons back home again.